Yo, what up, everybody? This your boy, Faith of Sam. We back with another one. It's tat, tat, tat. Tap in. Yes. And once again, the crew's back. You know, I got my boy, C Breezy, on my left. What it do, family? It's your favorite host, C Breezy. Thank y'all for tuning in, and especially to our Tap It family. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Most deaf, most yes, deaf. Sir. And we got Dow on the right. Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl, Davi, your actual favorite host. Okay. I know y'all have been here, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, I'm you back. are. You are back. You know, how, how's everything going, y'all? It's been, a, it's been a minute. It's been, it's, been, it's been cool. Yeah. You know, shout out to my Grace Connection family. <laughs> <laughs> family. Yes, sir. Shout Most out to Grace definitely. Connection Church. It's your boy, Breezy. Your most favorite best. member. Yes, sir. Most, most <laughs> that, most that. So last week, I, I had the privilege to sit down with uh, P. Reg. You know, uh, we had a great discussion, man, on Matthew 25. And, you know, um, in the spirit of, you know, giving, you know, to others and standing up for others. You know, um, I think P. Reg, man, shout out to you, man. Yeah, shout um, out P. Reg. And, uh, yeah, we pray to have them back, you know, um, and other, you know, leaders in our community as well. Yes, sir. Um, so today we're going to get into this, you know, spirit of gratitude. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what's coming up. Thanksgiving. Good food. I'm yeah, that to too, eat. but good I'm food. To Thanksgiving is coming up, man. I don't know who cooking, but I'm ready to eat. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yes. Uh, if y'all don't mind, let, let's just start with a short prayer for everybody online. Oh, yeah. Right? Let's get into it. Lord, we gather together. Uh, with a grateful heart to thank you for countless blessings in our lives, for the families and friends beside us and the love and um, the, the field, our lives, the love that fill our life for sure. Uh, we give you praise. Uh, help us to remember those in need and extend kindness and compassion um, and to live with a spirit of gratitude each and every day. Uh, may your grace continue to guide us uh, may your grace continue to connect us, and may we always seek to serve you uh, and others with a joyful heart. Uh, we pray not because we are good, but in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I ain't going to lie I like that. Yeah. Prayers, prayers on camera, yeah. on the live, that's lit. Yeah, lit. They get, that's, lit. They give a nice vibe. So this Thanksgiving, like, we just, you know, we hope that everybody, you know, gather around their table and be thankful. Yeah. You know, um, I know this week has been, I mean, this year, it's been a rough year. You know, but yeah. how do we, you know, it's like, how do you find gratitude and, you know, your most uh, vulnerable state, you know? Um, for me, I like to think a little different, a little deeper, a little different, because I don't want to be that cliche person. I mean, like, you're alive today, so that's something to be grateful for. Right, I mean, right. That's what I was going to say. Right, yeah, right. I ain't going to lie everybody say that's that. That's the go-to. Yeah, that's the go-to, you feel me? But um, I guess for like, I, I could see for myself, you know, just in times where, like, you can see things go wrong, um, how to still be grateful. Um, be grateful that you actually are going through some certain things, you know. Uh, the Bible says, you know, the trials and the tests of your faith, you know. It produces it, it patience. produces patience, you know. It produces endurance, you know. So, yeah, like, you know, I, I thank God. That I actually sometimes, though in the midst of it, it's hard to really be thankful for it. But I'm thankful not only for the deliverance, but for the reason why I went through it. You know, so the Lord to show me in the end, of, at the end of the tunnel, you know, you needed to be dependent on me. So, um, yeah, I'm just thankful for, you know, that I'm able to walk the talk. You know, to even be on tap in. You know I mean? Yeah, for to sure. To even speak it to you guys. You know, to actually have a platform where we can, you know express ourselves, you know, and talk about the word to talk about God and just evangelize whoever, you know, who may cross, um, who may just cross on the live on TikTok or YouTube or wherever, however you got here, you know, you got here and we don't believe in coincidences, you know? Let's go. So talk, yeah. talk to them, bro. Yeah. So talk we just, we just thank God for that. And I thank God for that. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Uh, that, so like, what's one form of expression of gratitude uh, to God, you know, for you? For me, I think I am a big, I like to write. Okay. I like to write, but I don't like to talk. Mm -hmm. Well, I like to talk, but Shopping. I don't like to talk about oh. important things, you know? So I like to write the important things. Okay. 
I made it a habit, you know, I do it not every day, but, you know, as much as I can, you know, I will sit, I'll get my worship music on, you know, I'll get in the spirit, and I'll just start writing to God. And in a way, that is my prayer, you know, like, I'll start it, you know, do you have any father? And I just write. Whatever I'm thinking, what's on my heart, what's on my mind, I just write. You know, and it's like, majority of the time, it, I can tell y'all what, what it be, for real. I just be sitting there like, thank you, Lord, for this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I remember one time, I was... Um, it was when I first got like my call back for my job. I went into my room three hours. I was just sitting there praying and crying. You want to know what the prayer was? Mm. Thank you. Thank yeah. you with the huh? tears. And yeah. that was all it was. Cause that's all you can really say majority of the time. Yeah. Cause it's like, yeah, you know, the trials are hard and you know, you can really be going through it, but it's like, you just have to be grateful, you know? And it's like, when you really think about it, it's so overwhelming. Like me. I, I be crying. Yeah. I be crying all the time. And it's like, once I get to praying and really like reflecting on all that God has done for me and all that I know that he will continue to do for me, like, yeah. thank you is all you can really say. Like, yeah. what else can you do? Like, everything else literally pales in comparison to like the goodness of God, you know? Yeah. And like, even like beyond like just for me, you know, like I'll see, um, family stuff or just friend stuff or just things in general you know and i'm like that is nothing but the goodness of god and it's like just thank you is all i can say for real like it's just that's real yeah real mm -hmm. so first thessalonians 5 verse 18 says give thanks in all circumstances yes sir like you know most read the verse and you know a lot of times when when things are going right that's when we are most thankful, you know, mm -hmm. grateful. And that's when we, you know, praise God, you know, uh, the loudest, mm -hmm. right? Because things are going right. You get a new job, praise the Lord, mm -hmm. right? You pass the test, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a new car, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, um, things are going right in your life. You praise the Lord. Uh, but First Thessalonians remind us to praise God in all, all circumstances, mm -hmm. right? And all circumstances stand for the good and the bad, you know, the ugly. Uh, so I had to learn that this year, you know, to praise God in my most vulnerable stage, yeah. you oh, know? Yeah, speaking of that, you know, one thing I'm very grateful for, and I was yeah. reflecting on this this morning, mm -hmm. is that I'm thankful that the Lord is not, like, afraid of me. I'm thankful that the Lord is not afraid of, not, not my, just my responses, mm -hmm. but of just, you know, who I am. You oh, know, explain that. Explain so that. what I mean by that, it's like, you know, growing up, of course, like a lot of things happen, you know, growing up. But at the same time, when trying to, when thinking about them and you go up to the Lord, I, I pray about them. It's like, sometimes I, I, I don't expect a, a response. Sometimes I don't, mm -hmm. I don't expect, you know, the Lord to really like come through in a certain way that he does or to really just to be the person that's just going to give me peace because of the things that I went through growing up and stuff like that. So like, and it's like nothing that you tell him, no matter how big you you think it is, is no surprise to him. Yeah. So like with the whole, like not being surprised is that whatever you're telling God, you ain't going to catch him by surprise. Like you're not going to catch him off guard, you know? Yeah. So I was just kind of reflecting, you know, on that this morning, I was just like thinking God, like, Lord, you know, I'm thankful that I can pray to you about, about crazy things that's happened to me or crazy things that I'm going through. And and I know and believe that you're not, oh, wow, that's, that's crazy. You're sitting there and actually like, I know. Yeah. And I'm here for you. Like, I, I thank God for that. You know, that's, that's one thing I was reflecting on this morning. Yeah. And I know, like, we've been, it's like, it's a continuing, con, con, it's a continuing reminder, like I see on here, that God is always good. Yeah, man. Always. Like, it's a reminder that, you know, we, we've had since we had the interview with Flo. Yeah. You know, like Flo said something that's been, you know, drilling in my mind. She said, you know, if you could count a second that God is not good, you know what I mean? I'll pay you for it. Yeah. And, and there is not a second, that God is you know, good. that God is not good. He's good yeah. all the time. Um, you know, so I'm just grateful for the goodness of God. Yeah. Right. For because sure. without his goodness, man, without, I'd rather get disciplined by God than to be uh, uh, bashed by man. Right. Mm, that's real. You know what I mean? Like, I'm grateful that, you know, sure, because yeah. he's a loving father. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. men discipline you out of anger, out of hatred, out of, you know, um, 
jealousy, jealousy, envy, envy yeah. you know. But God, when He disciplined you, He disciplined those He loved, you know. So the the trials and tribulations that God allow us to go through, you know, is to grow us, to mold us, to mature us. So I'll take discipline from God 100%. And it, it hurts. Yeah. So, sometimes, like, when you are being disciplined by God, you're like, man, like, Lord, like, this is too much. Yeah. Right? But Maybe. he said he's not going to put more on us than we can bear. And I'm going to trust and believe in that. So I'm it's, grateful for it. His bird is our light. Yeah. You know, his yoke is easy. Yeah, man. I think another thing that recently I've been very grateful for is, like, hmm. God is so intentional. Mm -hmm. And it's like recently, I always knew this, mm -hmm. you know, but recently, like you can, I've been like seeing it a little bit more, you know, and it's like, I can see how like God is using me in other people's lives. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, I, I don't know. It's like, you know, I'll have a friend and then I'm friends with this person and we're just cool. We're good. We're dandy, yada, yada. Maybe like, we're just casual regular friends in like a couple weeks into the like the friendship they're like hey you know like how do i how do i get into reading my bible how do i start doing this how should i doing that and it's like i know that i was here for a reason like i know that i was here to help you on your journey and it's like i'm so grateful for that like i'm grateful that god trusts me enough to help other people yeah, you good. know like that's so i don't know it's just so that like wow wow yeah, no it, it is i think like the spirit of gratitude, like should be a lifestyle acknowledgement of God's goodness. Mm -hmm. You know, like there, it's not just one day. Like, oh, Thanksgiving, I'm grateful. Mm -hmm. Like, Thanksgiving, I'm thankful. Right, but like honestly, like when was the last time you pick up your phone and call someone and said, "Yo, man, I'm grateful that you are in my life." Right, I'm grateful that you are around. Right, That's and sometimes we want to hear that. Yeah. Right, you want to hear your boss says, you know, like, good job. Right, yeah. like I'm proud of you. Like this was this project was really good. You want your parents to, you know, tell you, "Hey, I'm proud of you." You know, I'm proud of the woman and the men that you are becoming. Right, you want to hear those words. It's not when they brag into somebody else and they say it, and you overhear them saying it to somebody yeah. else. But yeah. I want you to say that to me directly. Me. You know, and like for us to have, you know, a God that that is so good, you know, and and His favors. <laughs> That, you know, he think of us, you know, out of the million things that are in this world. Right. right. So I'm grateful for that, man, that a God like him would care for someone like me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. But um, that, like, as, like, let's give a brief history. Of right. Thanksgiving. On yes. Thanksgiving. So. <clears throat> Move my teacher voice on. Uh, go ahead. Do your thing. Do your thing. So. Thanksgiving's origins date back to 1621 when English pilgrims at Plymouth, Plymouth, Plymouth Colony, and I am not going to even say it because I don't want to butcher it, I don't want to offend nobody, but a certain Native American people, um, mm -hmm. they shared a feast. I like that. That's smart. That's smart. Because <laughs> y'all not about to come for me. Yeah, I'm sure somebody's going to tell you to Google. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Shout out to that comment. Right Shout out. <laughs> Um, yes, they shared a feast after a successful harvest, symbolizing the cooperation between the two groups. All right. And then over time, you know, it became an actual holiday. You know, like during the Civil War, President Lincoln declared that Thanksgiving was going to be a national holiday. And he set it for the last Thursday of every November. Yes. Yeah. And then um, Franklin D. Roosevelt, he moved the day up to extend shopping and it was a whole bunch of foolish, foolishness. Right. A whole bunch of foolishness. Right. But, you know, I do want to make sure that I do give, like, proper recognition, you know, to the Native American people who don't celebrate Thanksgiving because I know that historically it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows and good food. Like, it was, it was a lot. Yeah. It was a lot. But, yeah. yes. So, that is a nice little brief history of Thanksgiving. That's dope. That's dope. And for us as Christians, it's just, you know, uh, a time set of, apart to thank God, you know, for his blessings and his provision. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, so this Thanksgiving, what do you, what are you most looking forward to? Food. <laughs> I'm yeah. keep it real. You see this right here? This is juice. <laughs> All right. This is juice. 
I'm most grateful for that. Yeah. Oh, I'm man. For that. But that's what you're looking forward to? That like the juice and the looking, food? That is what he's looking forward to. Hey, man. I ain't going to sit up here and lie. <laughs> we don't care for y'all boys. I'm not going to say a lot of y'all. Y'all know me. I'm going to give it a buck with you guys. I'm going to keep it. Keep it 100. Mm. But on a How about you, though, Dad? Like, oh, oh, that was a joke. I'm gonna see it. <laughs> no, I was for real. But second, overall, what I'm looking Oh, for, whatever he's about to say comes second to yeah, juice and second food. Second to just juice and food, yes. Second, um, let's say new community. Mm. That's what I'm looking this for. This man here. Like he's moving. Did, did I set it up or he set you it up? You set it up. It's okay. You walked right. I, I see what you're talking about. You like right. it was a dribble. It was not an alley, alley dog. Yeah. Like it was a dribble. Oh, this man, take new alley, dog. community. <laughs> I I hear you. I hear you. I know you, you new space of mind. I I, I get what yes. you're saying. I get what you're saying. Space of mind. That's yeah. one. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> but what about you, Davi? Um, I am just grateful for it. The people in my life. You know, I'm really, my people are really good. I've been building a good circle around me, and I really, I love that. And I'm also very grateful for the time and a half pay I'm going to get, because I am going to pick up a shift on Thanksgiving. Yeah, girl, yeah. Yes. We like to give God glory for that. Yeah, Amen. chat for the time Amen. and a half. Amen. chat. Amen. I think the question was, what What are you looking forward to? I guess working? The time and a half. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm looking forward to that. To extra. the shift. That extra, that extra shift, baby. Yeah. Oh my yeah, yeah, goodness, yeah, yeah. yo. But on a serious note. Oh, okay. Is that second to what you just said? Oh, y'all hey, playing around today. You keep it in the real. <laughs> We're not going to come here alive. No. Um, what am I looking forward to? I'm just looking forward to fellowshipping with yes. my communities. I'm looking forward to, you know, building more connections, you know. Oh, connections. Oh Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to, mm-hmm. you know, just cultivating my circle more and just growing that and expanding it. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's but good. mainly that time and a half. That time and a half. Yeah. What about you, Faith, Faith Thought? Faith no, no. Thought, Sal? I'm glad you asked, bro. Um, I'll be off this weekend. I mean, this Thanksgiving. I'm not worried. <laughs> so you could keep your time and a half. That's crazy. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, the food and the juice, like, I just, I just... Like, Man. it'd be too much for me. Like, I don't even eat that much in Thanksgiving, you know? Um, but what I'm looking forward to is uh, making connections, mm. you know, uh, rather with family, friends, um, or just new people I just met. New people, yeah. yes. You know? Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to spending time with my family. Uh, it's so important, man, because we, we live, like, uh, busy lives. Right. So any time that I can, you know, uh, spend with my wife and kids, like I, I'm grateful for. Yeah. Um, but this year I want to do things differently and we could segue, you know, mm-hmm. uh, while, while we do this. Um, I want to practice giving back during Thanksgiving because I think during Thanksgiving time, we think so much of, you know, receiving. Right. Yeah. yeah. And Red said that last week. It's like about opening your hands. Right. Because, like, you know, when you give somebody, your hand is open. So God can place something in your hand while it's open, Mm -hmm. right? So I want to give back. I want to give back to uh, people that are less fortunate. Uh, I want to give back to people that, you know, uh, would otherwise not have a meal, you know, at Thanksgiving. Like, we can't feed the whole world, right? But we could make an impact in our community. For sure. Uh, We did did start that with, uh, you know, um, uh, Bridge Vision. Uh, our nonprofit organization, organization, mm-hmm. right? Um, and I think it's something that we should continue, Absolutely. you know, to do reach our community in ways that you know otherwise they're not expecting, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and like we always expect other people to do for our people, yeah. Right? But, but we, we can to, do for yeah, them. Yeah, we need to do something, right? We can do for them. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking for forward to uh, having my kids involved and giving back. Yeah, you know. That is very good. That's good, man. Yeah, thank you. That's real good. That's actually number one. That's it. Oh. Hey. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, whatever. We're good just... for Good Samaritan Sam over here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that you're oh, not yeah, as yeah. multifaceted as we are. Oh, boy. Here we go. You know we have layers. Yeah. Y'all, y'all be right along with me because tapping is going to get involved. Yes. Oh, yeah. I will sure. be there. Tapping is going to be on the streets. Yeah, we're going to be on the streets, but fed. You know? 
Let's yeah. just let's for him. I'm gonna be fed <laughs> and then I'll be on the streets. Like you know, a question I, I like that comes to my mind. You know, like during Thanksgiving, they give away like uncooked food, mm-hmm. yeah. right? To like everybody. Yeah. But, hey. Does that make sense? No. I ain't, I ain't, because it, it always me, threw me a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because it's like okay, right? It it be it be the real the real well off people that be doing it too, and it's like you're gonna give them food. They're not gonna use that food. They're gonna go to the store and buy their own food. No, it's not that. Like the homeless. Like, oh, why would you give a homeless it. person oh, cooked food, a uncooked broke, food? Oh, my fault. A Does that make turkey? sense? Like, no, yeah, I'm gonna give crazy. you a bag of uncooked, you know, food. Like, here is good. a whole turkey. Like, bunch of ingredients, what, but I ain't got what nothing you gonna to do with it, with. right? That's so, so I'm encouraging you, man. Like, go to the nearest homeless shelter. Go to um your, you know, the nearest bridge that you know that homeless people hang out at. You know, and give them cook a cooked meal. You know, yes. like because some yeah, don't don't just put in your head like you know. There's a lot of organizations that give meals during you know Thanksgiving, so I don't have to do anything. They yeah, give yes, you do because they might miss somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah. And not just during Thanksgiving. You know, this should be a year round practice. You yeah. know, as you know. much as you can. You know, like if God has given it to you where you can give, give back, give back, yeah. give back. Don't be stingy. It shouldn't wait for a specific day for certain things to be set in stone. You know, mm-hmm. we should yeah. be able to be consistent with you know, whenever what day it is. We should, consistency should be the main thing because I feel like that's what you know, especially society nowadays struggle with a lot. Yeah, consistency. You know, we could start up one day, but then the next, it's all over the place. Right, you know? and then it's like a lot of times, like uh, stuff is very performative nowadays. Like for the holidays, it's oh my god! Like let's feed the homeless. Let's this, 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 this. Okay, but the uh, the other ten months of the year, you don't care about them. What is going on? Like you know. Yeah. So giving back should be a priority. It should be on yeah. top of your list for sure. Especially Absolutely. as a Christian. Yeah. All, all Definitely of all this. as a Christian. Yeah. So like there there are Thanksgiving tradition, you know, uh, in every family, I believe. You know, if you don't have one, I, I suggest you create one for your family, mm-hmm. right? So, can you guys share like one of those, you know, Thanksgiving traditions, whether it's like funny or instructive, you know, uh, with the audience? You can't think of none. For me, the only tradition was was going to the the Bridge Vision, being a part of Bridge Vision, um, yeah, that that organization and giving out food. Um, that was like constant. That was a really big thing. Yeah, like every. Every Thanksgiving, we get food. Yeah, it was so, no game. If anything, that was a tradition. Yeah, and then I feel like the other thing would be like whatever house it was that we decided was going to host that year and everybody being there. And it was just, mm-hmm. a whole, you know? like Yeah. But I think I think that's really about it, yeah. Yeah, just me. spending time with fam and friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, you mentioned, you know, what we did, you know, what we are still doing, like yeah. we didn't stop. For sure, for sure. Right? The the most, you know, the thing that I look forward to the most is, you know, evangelism. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because we we get to not just give those meals, but we get to have a conversation, you know, with you know the people we encounter. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, and that like I I've met different type of people, right? Yeah. Uh, different, you know, um, mm-hmm. uh, status, right? But to to see the connection, even though they don't know us, you know, um, they're always willing to, you know, allow us to speak to them. Yeah. Right. Uh, they are inviting. Right. Yeah. And uh, some of them will stay there with us and and their fellowship with us and stuff like that. I, I look forward to that. Like, yeah. yeah, just that connection with, you know, strangers. Feeding you, feeding your body and then feeding your spirit. Feeding your spirit. Amen. Yeah, we give away Bibles and everything else. I, it's just a good tradition. Yeah, like, it is. I, I believe if a church is not practicing that, like it's something that you should insert and, and sure. should practice, absolutely, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, especially the, around those holiday season because, you know, there's many people that have lost, you know, families and loved ones, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, around that time is there even though it's supposed to be a joyful moment, mm-hmm. that they, they are going through their sadness. Yeah. yeah. Right? Especially like with these holidays, one common thing about every single holiday is, uh, is, is, is community. Yeah. yeah. You know, just actually spending time together. Yeah. Like, forget what you got going on. I ain't going to work today, whatever. Well, except die. <laughs> that way, but, you know, but like, you time know, I ain't half, gonna, bro. I'll be yeah. there. I'll be But like, work. you know, like, we, we set time aside to just spend with family. So like, you know, for some people who don't, 
have the means to go, you know, spend time with their family. It really, it really be an important thing for as a community that we should do, you know, practice Absolutely. daily to take the time to actually, instead of fellowshipping with the people that you see on a daily basis, you know, take the time to actually fellowship, especially again, as Christians, mm-hmm. get to evangelize with people you don't see mm-hmm. or you don't know, or even the people you do see on the side of the road, but never encountered. Yeah. You know, take that time to actually like, be there and again i really thank god for that for that you know tra- tra- tradition we did mm-hmm. you know because we were doing that since i was a kid you know yeah. growing up and in yeah. that like in a way i always looked forward to it because of course it was a good time with friends but at the same time i got to see people you were and, serving yeah and i got to see different different people it wasn't just like the people that were just sitting next to me inside of the building or inside of church <laughs> but it was different people you know who who live even close to the church, but never stepped foot in the building before. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. You know? Yes, sir. So, like, it was it was pretty cool seeing these people. Like, I see you cross the street before, man. Now you pull it up. Hey, here's some food. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You know, I, I thought that that was pretty cool. It you was know? always super duper fulfilling. And the food was good. I know that. Oh, my God. You're going to get so fed. Well, the food was good. The food was good. Yeah. You was going to get it fed. It would be so good. Yo. Yeah, it was some good Haitian hands on those foods. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know. We get um, God. Oh, yes. That's one thing to be grateful for. <laughs> The hands that cook the, the food. The hands that cook hey, the food. Man, let's give them a special thank you. Yeah. Special shout out to all the cooks, Ooh. man. Uh, the ones who wake up Keep early morning down. on Thanksgiving to, you know, throw down, you know, so Especially that we can have. Especially if you are in charge of the macaroni. Yes, I yes. love you. Shout out to Marlene Dodoy. Yeah, Ooh. she came on here and gave her testimony, man. Shout out, man. Like that, Like she is a selfless woman. And, you know, like, morning shout out to you, man. May God bless you. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, like, you were, you were talking about the people in our community, right? Yeah. I think, out, like, outside of the four walls is when we fulfill the Great Commission. Yeah. Oh, agree. You, you know what I mean? Like, just to be around the, the neighborhood yeah. and, and the people that's, that's, around, that's surrounded the church. Right, and we get to fellowship with them, and we get to bring Christ to them, right? Um, and I'm going back to to the segment with Reggie. Whatever you do for the least of these, you've done for me, yeah. right? Hey, y'all go watch that for that episode. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. It's it's out right now. Go, go watch it. Gems for me. Yeah, go watch it. Go you watch know. and comment. Yeah, for sure. I respond. Yeah. So um, this Thanksgiving, uh, tell me what is your um, message you know to to the audience for me my message to those um well first i like to give two for christians and non-christians um for the christians uh of course yes spend time with your family but find the time to actually fulfill the assignment that's on your life that the lord has actually placed upon all of us as humanity to do which is to evangelize. Um, so take the time to actually like go out because I'm not going to lie, like during the morning and during the afternoon, a lot of people do be out either in the market trying to buy them ingredients to cook mm-hmm. or they're just out and about. And yeah. you know, the, the roads are busy around those times. So take the time to actually like go out there and be like, yo, like God is good. I know God and I know him for myself. You know, you should, we got a church, come pull up, you know. Um, yeah, just try to evangelize the best way you can and, and, and actually emphasize the importance of community, not just in the church, but outside of the church, outside of the four walls. Absolutely. Um, to the non-Christians out there, I say, um, really my message is for us to one, of course, get to know God, but also never downplay the, the importance and the, and the significance of people. Um, and when you come together to fellowship, um, don't take for granted the people that surround you. Um, again, you may not have a, a church family or whatever like that. So, or you may not have a family at all. Sometimes like you might just be home, you know, either somebody passed away, whatever the case may be. Um, just take the time to actually reflect, um, and understand that there is, there is a certain, um, power that comes from community. So try to find you one. And I believe a great place to find community is, is in the church. hundred um, percent. Of course, a, a good church though. But church. yeah, I believe a, a great place to really find community is a church. Um, 
everybody, especially if we're living by what the Bible says, like I wouldn't, I don't know where, where else to go to get a better, you know, a better, you know, love. Right. Except from the church community, the church community you know, people okay. that's actually kingdom minded, you know, so, you know, test it out. Like you ain't gonna die. Ain't. Try, try it out. What's right. the worst that can happen? For real. You don't like it, you walk out? Most likely the church is giving food. So you ain't got to cook. Go over there, pull up, get you a plate, and actually stay there and, commu- and talk to them. Yo, why you, why you serve God? You know, right. literally, yeah. try to actually take that opportunity. You like Go challenge a Christian. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's it right there. Challenge, go, go challenge, challenge a Christian. Christian. Yeah, okay. literally, yeah. Challenge yeah, a Christian. Do that. Go do go, that. Go do that. Get to know him. That is so good. That is so good. Um, I think me. Whew. What was the question again? Well that your message. I'm sorry, he was just talking for a really long time. My fault. He, he had a lot. My message. Okay, yes. I think just yes, be with your ooh, yes, be with your family, and yes, do all these things, but be be intentional in that family. How are you gonna steal my stuff, man? I should have went next, man. Like, why are you gonna steal what I was like? Bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Go ahead. But yeah, you know, be intentional with that family time. Be don't don't be with them, but be on your phone. Don't be on no like, you know, really enjoy the time that you have with your family because you know tomorrow is really not promised. Enjoy the time that you have with them. You know, tell your loved ones that you love them. Tell your friends you love them. All of that, like, really enjoy and and be be present. Just be present. That is that is my message. Be present mm-hmm. in every day. And get you this Publix. Oh my drink God! Right here, this man here. Yeah. It's really I'm good. Not about Publix, bro. It's really good, <laughs> man. It's really good. It is. It is really yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, for me, like I said, you you said what I was about to say, right? Um, like being intentional is a key for me this year. Mm-hmm. All right, be intentional in everything that you're doing, man. Be intentional with the time that you spend with your family. Intentional with the time that you spend with your friends, you know, um, be fully like vested, you know, when you sit and talk to people, yeah. Yeah. you know, because sometimes we miss out on certain, you know, things that people say, uh, we miss out on certain clues because, you know, we were thinking about something else, something else. While, while they were, you know, being honest to us about, you know, uh, maybe yeah. something they might be going through yeah. uh, at these gatherings. People tend to be extremely honest. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? They, they tend to be vulnerable, right? And their vulnerability, uh, make sure you show grace, right? Because that's what the season is about. Yeah. Uh, make sure, um, you know, you show gratitude, man. Like forgiveness is the key to unlock, you know, the, the happiness of your heart. So learn how to forgive. Um, allow God to uh, really guard your heart you know, against hatred, uh, because hatred could keep us away from uh, enjoying other people, enjoying happiness. Uh, so if you have families that you, you know, been distant, you know, to maybe pick up that phone, right? It's a two way call. I mean, it's a two way street, mm-hmm. right? It works both ways. If that person is not picking up their phone, pick up yours. Right. Yeah. And, and if you don't want to, you know, hear their voice, send a text, you know what I mean? Because um, life has, you know, I, I believe, um, you know, the Bible tell us to number our days, mm-hmm. no, number our days. So be intentional about, you know, how you spend those days. Absolutely. Right. And have the spirit of gratitude. Uh, so this Thanksgiving, uh, I wish you a great time with your family, yes, your loved sir. ones. And um, the tap and challenge for this Thanksgiving is to give back, right, to somebody, you know, that didn't expect you to reach out to, to them. Yeah. You know, in whatever way that, that that may look like, right? It could be food. It could be money. Uh, whatever it is, just reach out to someone, right? Because you never know never. what somebody might be going through and what, you know, uh, the gesture or, you know, the little... Um, or whatever it is that you give them might do for yeah. them. Don't yeah. downplay the, 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 the thought. Yeah. You know, don't downplay the, the execution of it. Something so small yeah. could really Can go, really could go a long way. Absolutely. It could go a long way. Yeah. yeah. You, you build a wall one brick at a time. Oh, crap. 
You know, we got to end it again. We got to end it. We got to end it again. It's in there. All right, all right. <laughs> so this has been a tapping episode. <gasps> yeah. Um, we wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Right? Enjoy the time with your family. Uh, yep. And check us out after Thanksgiving, man. We yeah, got man. a great take for you. Watch us. Watch our episode through Thanksgiving. Don't hey, that's, that's, that, You know what? That's, that's my that's my second message. Second message. My second watch message. Your uh-huh. While you're with your peoples, throw on, pop a, on, throw on an episode pop of Tap In. Tap In with Tap In. Exactly. Exactly. On Thanksgiving, all exactly. right? Exactly. So with that being said, this was your boy, Faith of Sam, chilling with my dog, Brizzy. Yes. Sir. With my girl, Davi. And we out. Tap to tap to tap. 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 Gratitude. Let's go. Boy, I ain't gonna have the rest of this juice. I'll tell y'all that.